all of the feeds for all of my blogs and podcasts are at feeds.podcastpartnership.net, not paulcolligan.com, podcasttools.com, etc. Why do I do this? I do this, A, because there's a great little marketing you know, c- capacity I have here by calling everything within podcast partnership. But at the same time, it keeps me from being, you know, having my arms completely and totally tied to FeedBurner. Now, I definitely recommend you use FeedBurner. I recommend you, you use them for their statistics, for what they bring to the table, the stability, the fact that they keep on top of things so that you don't have to, etc. But instead of having everything of yours at feeds.feedburner.com, I recommend you have it at feeds.whatever domain name you want to have it.com. Now, how do you do this? When you log on to FeedBurner and you click on the My Account link up here, it'll take you to this page. And there is an option on this area called My Brand. Go ahead, click on that. Now, this is a pro service that FeedBurner used to charge for, but it's now free. It's a very, very simple process. As you can see here, it's only three steps. Step number one, make sure you own or control the domain name and you can manage its DNS records. I'll show you how I do that. Most of your web services, web hosting programs allow you to do that. Very, very simple stuff. Create a C name. Now let me show you how easy it is to create a C name. If we go over to my domain hosting, now I use oneplaceforeverything.com at, you know, oneplaceforeverything.com and they have what they call total DNS. When I click on total DNS, I can go in and I can very easily Click on add a new CNAME record. And just like they say to do here, the alias name is feeds. The CNAME is feeds.feedburner.com. So I could do this. And we'd be good to go. If we go back, you'll see that that's exactly what we have in place here. Hold on a second. Always fun recording live with... Uh, internet connections that always seem to act funny while you're recording live. Pop up here in a second. You'll see under total DNS control that I've already got that in place. Feeds is at feeds.feedburner.com. We click and edit just like I showed you. So that's step one, very, very easy to do. Most of your web um, domain name systems provide this with that similar easy process. Again, I use one place for everything, but you can use, you know, whatever you want. And then you tell them what the domain is. I say send everything to feeds.podcastpartnership.net. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you uh, save and make it active, you're good to go. And it will start redirecting everything to whatever you tell it to. Now, feeds.podcastpartnership.net. You know, there's the one for my blog. Now, truth be told, it is also still feeds at feedburner.com slash blog. And, uh, you know, same exact thing. I just don't market that. So you definitely want to utilize this service. Um, your brand is awesome. It's free. It's part of FeedBurner. It helps brand you, not them. You know, there's really no reason why you wouldn't want to use this. And of course, you know, if in the, you know, if tragedy happened and FeedBurner went down, all your feeds wouldn't go with it because you own your own domain. So there we go. That's how we do it. I'll let you go. Bye.